I haven't talked on this channel in a minute. Hey. So, how are you guys today? Like, how are you guys? So, uh, today I have a cool video. I have um, a what's on my iPhone 10. I usually do these faithfully. Um, I usually do these. I'm still learning my iPhone 10. I am. I'm still learning my iPhone 10. I got it for my birthday. My old phone, which was a 6 Plus, died on me, you guys. It legit died on me. Like, it went dead four times. And after trying to put it back on, it officially died. Which makes me sad. <laughs> but it died. But anyways, I have the iPhone 10. My case is an outer box. I got it from the flea market. This is what the case looks like, you guys. This is the back, and then here is the front. I'm so excited. I have been a Samsung user, but I am all Apple now. So I had the 4S, and I had the 6 Plus, and now I am 10. Like, that is a huge upgrade, you guys. So I have 10. And now let's get into the iPhone. It's been week one with the iPhone 10, and I have to say, having this phone is such an amazing feeling because usually, whenever you upgrade to the latest phone, it's like I upgraded. <laughs> so I upgraded to the iPhone 10 the week after my birthday. I came back from Nassau, Bahamas, and my phone went dead. I was an iPhone 6 Plus user for three years. And my phone started giving me issues with battery percentages. Like right now, if I was able to film this video and I would have took my phone off the charger, it would have been like right at 20%. So that's like, mm, was my issue. But now that I have the 10, I'm so excited that I'm able to take my phone off the charger and don't have to worry about recharging it back up once I take it off. So, <laughs> alrighty. So this is the 10. I have the black and I have the gold. Now, one thing about the 10 is that it is a size smaller than the Plus. The Plus are usually a bigger phone, but it's a size smaller. Now, with the Plus, I, you can see me. Um, that's that's one thing. Um, with the plus, it's very unique because it's a bigger screen. But with the ten, it's kind of like the four S, but it's a bigger and larger screen compared to the four S. I have iPhone from the home button where usually you would press this button here to open your phone, and obviously, it is gone so I have to get used to not used to not having a home button so if I wanted to swipe up I cannot swipe up but I have to go to the side and then swipe up okay now as you can see I had to hit my right side of the screen and I had to hit it and slide it. This 
part of the screen has your percentage. Now with Apple, they're not allowing the percentage to be right on the screen. You have to slide like right, like right next to your battery life. Like what I mean by that, you see at the battery life. Okay, wait a minute, I'm gonna turn this down. Okay, so you see right there, you guys, there's the Wi-Fi, then you have the battery. Usually, you will see how much your phone is charged or needs to be charged, or what's the percentage. Now, you can't, that's the only thing I don't like about it, you know, you can't see it. But now, since it's automatically, it goes right to your phone and it, I have been uh, off of my iPhone charger for about a good two hours and it's at 81% so that's great. Then you have your, oh, of course I'm with the company at and you have your signal and then you have your Wi-Fi connection. So when you go to the screen you have your airplay mode, you have your 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 connection, your satellite connection, you have your Wi-Fi, then you have your Bluetooth music, you have your lock, night screen and then you have your brighten screen you can brighten it and they have your volume screen mirroring which is easier for you to record something if you see something on internet you want it right then and there after you watched it then you can like scroll because I am a Instagrammer I am an influencer so I'm on the internet a lot and this is great then you have your flashlight which is super bright then you have your Timer, calculator, and camera. With this phone, look at the size of it. As you can see, it's very, very nice. You have on your side of your phone, you have your your off and on volume button, which is definitely great. I am not a tech, so don't come for me. And then you have your your sound button where you turn up and down your volume and then on your other side of your phone you have is the on and off button which is here so and then on the bottom of the screen which needs to be in the camera uh, you have your speaker which is a very loud speaker then you have a charger area where you plug your phone in and then you have your volume speakers as well so I mean it's very awesome um, I'm noticing with this, I do not see a headphone jack, which I would love to see, but I'm still working on it. I like to have a headphone jack for my phone, and then I love it. So, um, this is the phone itself. You see the size, how it will fit in my hand. Like, I have medium sized hands, and that's what it will look like once it's in your hand. So, and then yeah <laughs> that's what it will look like once it's in your hand so these are your ordinary apps that you have for the iPhone 10 any iPhone you're gonna have these apps there's no way get besides your personal apps that you love to use you have your FaceTime calendar photos camera mail clock maps weather uh, notes reminders news stocks iTunes store Apple store health home wallet and TV now that's something new to me because my last phone that I did have I did not have Apple TV uh, on my phone and then I had wallet but I wasn't really a person that I don't trust having my wallet information program to my phone I don't trust that then you have maps the cool thing about maps is that you can be offline and still use your map like you my old phone I had to be connected to Wi-Fi I had to download a GPS and I did not like that so <laughs> and then you have your tips, podcasts, find an iPhone, find friends, contacts, files. I'm on the second row. Watch utilities, which normally your utilities are voice memos, compass, and measure. Then you have your Apple Store, and you have clips. I'm not for sure what that is. Um, Garage Band, and then you have Keynote automatically came with it which is cool. If you're a YouTuber, you will know what it's about to have keynote. Numbers, pages, iMovie, which I vlog on my phone. And the quality is amazing. So, let you know that right now. You don't really need a new uh, camera. It's kind of like having a Canon camera, which I am not filming on a Canon camera, but based off of looking at videos, then you know that Canon cameras are good. Then you have iTunes, then you have your calculator, then you have AT&T Mobile transfer where you transfer stuff 
Then you have Facebook, which I downloaded myself. Snapchat, which you can follow me and it'll be linked below. I have my Pandora and Messenger and Rain app. I have to, I have to use the Rain app to go to sleep and then I have Wish. So this is Pandora on my phone and listen to the volume. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, but just listen to the volume really quickly. That is a dope bass. Like when I first heard it, I was like, oh, we got bass in the phone. Which any phone gonna have a good bass, but this bass is awesome. So this is the back, this is the gold, and this is the camera, which I love. I told you guys I'm not a tech, so don't cover me. This is the camera. And this phone is freaking amazing. So I'm super excited to have the iPhone 10. I'm gonna do, let me know if you guys like this because it felt kinda odd not doing a beauty related video. So let me know if you guys like this. And let me know if you wanna do two weeks with the iPhone 10. Two weeks. Comment below and let me know and I will see you later. Enjoy this video, give this video a big thumbs up, and I gotta go, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.